Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 129 in the New King James Version. A Song of Ascents Many a time they have afflicted me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many a time they have afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed on my back, they made their furrows long. The Lord is righteous, he has cut in pieces the cords of the wicked. Let all those who hate Zion be put to shame and turned back. Let them be as the grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up, with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor he who binds sheaves his arms. Neither let those who pass by them say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. I'm going to highlight verses 1 through 2. Many a time they have afflicted me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many a time they have afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. Let's pray. Jesus, we recall the words of 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8-9. through We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. We have in many ways been afflicted. This world has scarred us, marking us with deep furrows. But even though in this world we will face many troubles, we fear not because you have overcome the world. You are our righteous defender, preserving us from all afflictions and temptations that would be too much for us to bear. You know our frame, and you even sympathize with us in our weaknesses. So we choose to cling to you through every adversity, celebrating everything that you have allowed us to overcome and proclaiming it to our souls as evidence that we are more than conquerors through Christ. We love you, we thank you, and we bless your name. Amen.